You are right? How are you doing, guys? I, I, I'm Leighton. Uh, I'm autistic and I'm Jewish, so I'm sorry if all my uh, stuff has already been covered. So I, I am. Uh, so no, I, I am an autistic comedian, but I, I prefer to call myself uh, an autiste. Uh, and it's not. Uh, it's, it's, it's not. It's not easy being on the spectrum because I don't have a filter. I drink straight from the tap. <laughs> Yeah, like I was, uh, I was invited to a party recently that surprised me myself. Uh, and you know, uh, at this party there was a there was a dickhead uh, who who was saying to me, I don't think autism is a real disability. And in the past I would have snapped, but I think I handled it quite well. I handled it quite well, and I squeezed his nipples. Um, <laughs> But I, I, I had a dilemma recently because there was, so I'm kind of mild functioning, you can't always see it, mild functioning, autistic, but I was at a gig and there was an audience member recently that was high functioning and he kept finishing all of my lines. It was really annoying. He kept, he kept, no, I, I admit it was foolish. I admit I shouldn't have left my cocaine on the table, you know? But, so, uh, you know, uh, as, as well uh, as being uh, uh, autistic, you know, I'm also Jewish. So uh, that wasn't a joke. So, uh, so that makes me uh, uh, dutistic, you know. Uh, and uh, I, I try, uh, I try to do the a whole Jewish thing. I, I did a competition recently called Jews Got Talent, which uh, was was a bit like Britain's Got Talent, except my dad's friend was on the panel, uh, and uh, it was. Uh, it was nobody. It was nobody important. Just David Bedil. No, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, it, it, was, it was just an ordinary guy, but it, he was he was a, a, a diamond geezer because he used to work in the diamond trade. Uh, but but yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so like, I've, I've always struggled to uh, hold down a job. Uh, I, I used to work as a KP, like washing dishes, but not everyone knew what that is. So some people just used to think I work for the company KP Nuts. And I used to say like, well, I don't work for KP Nuts, but I do work as a KP for peanuts. Uh, and... Uh, uh, so, so, so like, uh, I was kind of like, so I just want to let you know while I was washing the dishes, 80% uh, of the water that I used to wash the dishes with was my actual tears. Um, <laughs> thank you. The people that are going, oh, don't, don't, don't worry, because isn't it scientifically proven, cry, some tears are good and that. So, <laughs> I, 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 um... But sometimes, well, I didn't mind doing the job, but sometimes I was kind of like embarrassed to tell my friends what I do because the stereotype is that uh, all Jews are sort of uh, doctors, lawyers and accountants and, and that's not true even though all my friends are doctors, lawyers and accountants um, uh, and you know like uh, I, I was really sort of like, uh, like uh, embarrassed and eventually one of my friends found out and he said oh where do you do that? Uh, he was, I was like at a sushi restaurant he was like oh my god I love sushi can you get me a discount? which is like the most Jewish thing anybody could ask uh, and he was, was like, he tried to make conversation. He was like, uh, do, you, do you enjoy the job? You know, and I was like, I love it. I love washing fish slime out of the sink. Fish slime is my favourite sort of slime. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I, I, I love it, man. But like... <laughs> so like, uh, I, 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 I didn't... I, I, I did, I, second class, really? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I didn't... <laughs> Uh, 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 as I say, like, I, I didn't mind the job because I get to spend a lot of time by myself and I, and I like that and like, I spent a lot of time uh, with the dishwasher, I spent so much time with the dishwasher, it was practically uh, my girlfriend. I, 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 I used to tell it jokes and it used to spit water out of me, just like my real girlfriend. Um, like, I'm, I'm joking, I don't have a real girlfriend. But, but I do have a sex robot, or that's, that's what I call her anyway. I'm joking, I don't have a girlfriend. But, so, I, I, like, I'm just gonna sit down to relax a bit. But, but that's so much better, oh my God. So, can you see me? Oh, you. So, like, you can check out the, the Jewish nose from the side angle. But, but, but as I say, so, like, uh, recently, so I tried to do the whole Jewish thing. I was at this sort of, uh, 
Friday night communal dinner and the rabbi was speaking for two and a half hours. It was sending me to sleep. And my friend, my friend David, this was the most interesting part of the talk, my friend David turned to me and said, would you bang the rabbi's wife? And I, said, <laughs> I said, that is disgusting, that is disrespectful and sexist. There's no place for that in the modern world. I would not bang the rabbi's wife, but I would bang the rabbi's sister because uh, she's younger and she's got less kids. <laughs> Oh, I'm quite funny. But thank you, thank you. But I uh, felt like I was sitting down and enjoying myself. I had my time. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you so much. Cheers.